Hi everyone, welcome to my our class today. I am waiting for some foreigners, uh, friends come here, but I don't know what happened with them right now. So uh, we will talk first. Okay, while waiting for them. So the last time we have the question, why is Singapore so rich? And I hope you guys um, practice, practice already. So now I uh, I will call someone to talk about uh, to answer to answer about that question. Why is Singapore so rich? And uh, the first one is Pete Nguyen. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Answer me. Uh, the the first the first reason, okay. Just the first reason, why is Singapore so rich? Yes, the first reason Singapore is so rich because Singapore, under Singapore, doesn't have a lot of resources like mm -hmm. coal and oil. It has a special location which not the most countries have. Singapore is the island and it's, it is located in the middle, the in, in the middle of, of the, the important trade route between Asia and Europe. Hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Thiet Nguyen. Yeah, really nice. So um, in the middle, right? Uh, the about location, a special location, right? So the second, uh, the second reason I I want, uh, Miss Tom, tell me about the the second reason why is Singapore so rich. Yes, I'm here. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. Yeah, the yeah. second reason, the second reason, um, Singapore, uh, Singapore is uh, the build, building a uh, public housing uh, affordable uh, uh, to develop uh, the economy, uh, to mm. settle, uh, settle, settleable, um, the, uh, the job. Affordable, the, right? Affordable. Yeah. Affordable. affordable, yeah. Housing, public, public housing. Yeah, public yeah housing. affordable, public housing. Yes. To settle, yeah, for mm. the people, for people, and then mm. and then they um, uh, and uh, okay, okay. Thank you, Miss Bum. All right, it's it's okay. It's okay. Uh, the the next the uh, okay uh, can you tell talk more can you talk more about the that that reason Budangkoi about a housing uh, um about uh, affordable public housing can you add more information about that Okay, oh my God. I cannot hear you. Please talk louder. No, no, I cannot hear you. Please, Budang Khoi. Maybe it's uh, your um, microphone. Okay, Nguyen Ding Khang, can you talk more, add more information about the reason um, housing, uh, about housing, public housing of Singapore? Yes, yeah, teacher. Um, uh, in Singapore, in the park, uh, they used to have a housing rising. 
chinh bò e you to know as uh, one of the largest slum set settlement in the world mm. so um mm. the government uh, have a, a rich uh, policy uh, they uh, focus on building a uh, affordable um, public housing mm. uh, so they build a, a more discipline um discipline labor crop to attract mm. investment Mm. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Nguyễn Đình Khang. Okay, finally, my friend here. Hello, Randy. Hi. Hi, Randy. Hi, Miss Hart. Yes. Welcome to our class today. And uh, our, uh, and, uh class, uh, say hi with Randy. And uh, Randy is my friend from uh, America. So he is Vietnamese, okay? He is Vietnamese and uh, he is, he lives in uh, American America right now. And uh, today, yes, today uh, he is here to practice English with you guys. So the first the first I want to say thank you with you, Randy, uh, Miss Mr. Randy, and uh, this is the first time we met together. So. Uh, uh, we need to know about each other and just about uh, each other, okay? And I hope you can uh, come our class every every day to learn with us. Ren is my uh, student, yeah. It's not like that, I'm just joking. Okay, Renny, yes. Hi, um, and the, the, the first, uh, I, I want you guys uh, talk with Randy but I will call someone to talk with him. Uh, but the others need to listen carefully and don't repeat the uh, the question like this, like uh, the 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 person before. Okay, so listen carefully. And uh, we have a new friend here, and we need to we need to know about him everything yes and uh uh the the first the first is uh huyen mai yes can you hear me loud and clear and huyen mai, yeah. okay hello hello randy yes um yes Sure. So um, we are talking about. No, just just no. You don't know him, right? Uh, okay. Okay. It, it is Hello, the first time. My name okay. is Mai. My oh, name hi, is Mai. Mai, and yeah, I'm 15 years old. Okay. Okay. Uh, how about you? I'm doing good. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Still sleepy. You live in Indonesia? Yes. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Renny, <laughs> it's not like that. Okay, Renny is sleepy right now because it is a uh, really morning, early morning in uh, his country, and uh, just oh. know about his country. Okay. Okay. If you okay. Don't, yeah. You are not, you didn't listen to me right before, and right now ask him again if you want to know about him. Please quickly. We don't have time. We don't have more time for you. Please, one minute for okay. you to know about him. Can Can I ask you something? Sure. How, how was your life in living in Indonesia? It's not so, Indonesia. <laughs> first of all, I'm in the US. I'm not in uh, Indonesia. I'm in the US. I'm in the West Coast. 
No, I'm, I'm just joking. So yeah. you live in US. <laughs> so how was the life in there? Um, just, I guess, just normal. Nothing special. Nothing special. So how, how was your working? Do was you want to know my profession? Oh. Is, is that, uh, is that uh, what you mean? You want to know my profession? My, I want to know the job. Mm -hmm. It's my profession. Oh, okay. No, I cannot hear it. Okay. You can't, uh, hear? How about... you can't hear me? Is what you say? No, you can't hear me? My, it's just my laptop. It's not loud. Maybe I should find the microphone. Okay. Okay. Uh, Miss, uh, uh, Miss Mai, find your headphone to hear Mrs. Handy clearly, okay? So I will call I the yeah, other people. Thiet Nguyen, okay. Please ask him, yeah. And maybe, uh, yeah, hi. okay. Oh, hi, hi, Thiet. Hi, hi, Randy. Nice to oh. meet you. Yes. Nice to meet you too. Yes. Do you live in America? America, right? Yes, I live in America. US. Yeah. America. Yes. <coughs> have you have you ever been Vietnam? Yes, I was born and raised in Vietnam. Yes. What uh, what's your what's your favorite food? In Vietnam. Vietnamese food. Vietnamese yes, food. Vietnamese, Vietnamese food. Yes. Pho. Pho. Yes. Pho Hanoi. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as pho, um, uh, I like it. Yes. I like them all. So Northern, Southern, Central, you know, Vietnam style. I, I like them all. Do you, do you, have you, have you ever, it's far in U.S.? Yes. And, yes. and one of the different thing between the fur in the U.S. and fur in Vietnam is uh, in U.S., the fur in U.S., the bowl is huge. The bowl is big. Yes. So if you got like a, a large bowl, sometimes it's about the, three times the size of the, the bowls in Vietnam. Yes. So how about you? Do you like pho? Yes, I like, I like pho. I like a, a like noodle. Mm -hmm. Bún bò Huế. Okay. Yes. That's one of my favorite too. Yes. I like pho in bún bò Huế. Yes. So do you know how to cook bún bò Huế? Yes. Uh, some, uh, sometimes uh, at the kitchen, uh, my family cook uh, this uh, food, bún bò Huế. So you say that uh, over the weekend, right? Yes. That's where your family cooks. Yes. Uh, okay. So uh, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Yes. Nice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Nice to meet you too. It seems like a detail here. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Thiện Nguyễn. Uh, thank all right. you. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, Mr. Zoom, today I want to check um, my students' listening and uh, okay. communicating uh, skills. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you, Thiện Nguyễn. And uh, next one is uh, Đình Khang. Don't ask Hi. again, okay? <laughs> Information, please 
Listen carefully, please, you guys. Listen carefully. Hi, Ryan. Yeah. Oh, are you ready? Are ready? Sorry. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Ready? I'm doing good. How about you? Uh, uh, how are you? Hey, hey, I'm very uh -huh. old. You know what? Here's the one thing. Here's the one thing, right? You know, in class, right, we can ask the age for fun, right, yeah. for study. But yeah. in real life, people don't ask no. other guys' age. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> that, that's like a taboo question. You only yeah. ask the, 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 the you, know, you, you only ask people to like an age, right? how much yeah. they make, right? Then, uh, you know, how, you know, how heavy their weight, you know, how many kilograms are you, how many pounds are you weight? This question okay. is off the limit, right? Yeah. Don't you know, ask so, me, so, are so, you fat? Miss Young, don't ask me, are you no, fat? No, 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 yeah. no, no, so, yeah. so in, 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 in real life, right? So people don't, you know, most of the time, right? You know, yeah. people don't ask uh, the, the, the age, don't have, ask the other guys to uh, wait. Don't ask them how much they make, you know? So, yeah. yeah. So I'm okay, 55 so years old. So yeah. come back to your question, right? So I'm 65 years old. What? I'm 65. 65, 65 oh. years old. So, uh, um... <laughs> but don't worry, yeah. right? But don't do, worry, do, do. because of in uh, English, right? You don't have to worry about uncle, grandpa, father, you know, that okay. kind of thing, right? Oh, okay. So you just, you know, you just, uh, you know, what you call, you know, your, you know, you, me, good enough, right? Ma'am? Yeah. 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 So, uh, or if you like to, you can call Mr., uh, right? Uh, Western, that, uh, do you have any land to call in the future? Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, do you have any land to come back to lay in? If I guess it's correctly, you want me to uh, do uh, do the, your question is, do you have any plan to come back yes. to live in Vietnam? Is that that question? Yeah, yeah, yes. That that's what I okay. mean. Okay. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I can come back okay, to Vietnam um, or visit, right? But not live in Vietnam. All right. Uh, um, I, I, okay, I'm, I'm so sorry, uh, Nguyen Ding Kang and, and, and Randy, uh, uh, because I uh, interrupt you. But we have a new friend here uh, from Indonesia and uh, Ryan. And uh, right now, I want uh, you guys to... Um, Listen carefully about the conversation from Randy and Ryan. And you need to know about how to communicate with people who, um, who, meet, who, who, who meet you in the first time, okay? Okay. All right, okay, thank you so much. And uh, hi, Ryan. Hello, Ryan, are you here? Hi, hello, Pam. Can you yeah, hear me? Hello. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Oh. And, uh, yeah, Ryan. I hi, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> Please, Ryan. I think uh, your uh, your side is really not clear. Not really clear. Maybe your your headphone or your microphone. Oh. Yeah. My sound. Okay. Hold on a moment. Uh, let me check for yeah. a second. Mm, okay. Okay, so uh, okay. Uh, uh, while waiting uh, for Ryan, um, Miss Zhuong is my friend, uh, and uh, he always uh, he 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 often want to help Vietnamese people to learn English. Uh, so that's right. Um, yeah, Miss Zhuong talk about real life a lot. Why? Because we are learning about, uh, we are learning a lot from textbook or from school, and we don't have enough experiences about real life, right? And right now, Mr. Randy and, uh, and, 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 uh, and, and Miss, Mr. Ryan from Indonesia, I want you uh, 
um, like express ex express some uh, something from the first time we met together for you guys here to learn. And uh, you, I hope you guys can uh, do better than now when you met when when you meet someone in the real life. Okay, in real life, uh, Miss Dương, are uh, do you uh, do you like the way I? Uh, yeah, of course, of course, Ryan. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, Miss Dương, Mister Dương. Yeah. Yes, are you I'm there? Here. I'm here. Uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. Uh, we are here to help uh, our students, my students, to learn uh, better. Mm, I really want you guys to think about real life. Everything of real life is different from a uh, textbook. Mr. Zhuang, Mr. Zhuang, and uh, Mr. Zhuang always uh, said that like, oh, Mr. Zhuang don't like um, doesn't. Don't go to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, right. Doesn't no school, have no opportunities, book. right? To go to school yeah. or something like that to learn English. And uh, Miss Lung learn everything in real life. Okay, you guys, and uh, all right. So, um, mm, uh, yeah, Miss Lung can uh, share with us a lot of experiences about about how how to how to communicate with others in real life like uh, american life right but right now um we have some uh, people from another another country and uh, we can learn more today uh hi ryan welcome you come back ryan hi hello fam Thank you. Oh, it's okay right now. It's better. Uh, <laughs> can, yes. you hear my, can you hear me yeah. clearly? Okay, thank you. So, Ryan, uh, we are here to uh, to share our experiences about about ourselves because we are we are meeting in the first time, and I want to recommend mm -hmm. for you, my friend. Uh, Mr. Z Randy, Mr. Randy, and uh, right now, Ryan. And I want uh, Ryan and, and Randy talk together. Okay. And we, sure. we and we can learn a lot from you. All right. So, yeah. um, fam, uh, first of all, I would like to say sorry because uh, I cannot turn on my camera. I don't know why my okay. camera suddenly doesn't work. So. Okay, don't um, worry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. You look because you you know you you have a good look. That's why Zoom you know blocks you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, no, Mister Randy. No, yeah, I'm you're right. So I can turn on Ryan is really so. handsome. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Yeah. Sure. You're, <laughs> no, you're sure. That's yeah. not true. <laughs> okay, Ryan uh, and uh, Randy, um, please um, make a conversation for us. Hey, to, Ryan. Uh, okay. Randy. Yeah. To learn. Hey, Ryan. All right. Randy. Hello, hi it's Randy, nice to meet you. Xin uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Okay. So, uh, what do you do? Uh, what do you do for a living? Um, well, I, yeah, sure. So, well, I currently work um, in one of the uh, private companies uh, in Indonesia. Uh, uh -huh. I actually live in the capital city in Jakarta. Okay. So, okay. Um, I've been working for this company for. Uh, for around two years. And then basically, mm -hmm. uh, like I said before, that this is an education company. So basically we uh, actually uh, provide schools and universities across Indonesia to be able to speak English. So we um, provide uh, English native speakers uh, that can help them to you know, improve their English. So that's basically, um, yeah, my company about. So, so your company provides uh, learning, right? Is that English exactly, for exactly. people who, who live in, in Malaysia? Okay. So uh, um, in Indonesia. In the Indonesia. Okay. Yeah. So so I question now. I have another question for you. Is sure. uh, do you speak other language? You know, besides English, besides native, um, I, you know. <laughs> okay. So my native language is Indonesian. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I also speak German. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how about Chinese? 
China as well. Uh, <laughs> that's a very okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a very interesting uh, question. Uh-huh. Well, I actually learned Chinese for three years when I was at high school, but I, I do remember nothing now. So I only mm-hmm. remember ni hao, ni hao ma, and okay. that's all. <laughs> that's, that's all I can enough, remember. Right? That's good enough. So when you some you, when you meet uh, some someone yeah. from China, you know, just wake exactly. their eyes, right? Just wake the yes. eyes, ni hao, right? Then you can continue with your English. Mm-hmm. Right, right. What about you, uh, Randy? Do you speak other languages uh, besides uh, uh, Vietnamese speak, and English? I speak Chinese. I speak Chinese. Oh, really? Yes. I speak wow, in that's, dialects in Chinese. That's yeah. interesting. So the English is my is my. Uh, wow! How you know, how did you learn language. Chinese? Oh, um, you know, um, how should I say? My ancestor, right? You know, is, is Chinese. So, so my father sent me to uh, Chinese school when I was young. So mm-hmm. I learned a few years. You know, even I lived. I was born and raised in Vietnam, but I, I went to Chinese school. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I think the. My connection was connection. Out of, um, okay. a little bit. Yes, sorry. Okay, so wow, you you speak Chinese. Um, any other languages that you speak? No, no that's all. Okay, well, interesting. Chinese is always, um, you know, an interesting language to speak. But for me, I think it is really, really hard. Uh, it's really, really require a lot of time to practice, right? <laughs> Yes, any any language, right? You have to spend time, you know, to to practice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The most impo- important right. thing is practice, right? If you use it, then if you you know your your level will will you know like improve, right? But but if you don't mm-hmm. use it, then forget it. You know, you learn it from school. Like I spent a couple of years, you know, when I was young, right? I spent a couple of years in school, uh, learn, learning mm-hmm. Russian. But now I can't even remember, you know, a single word. <laughs> Interesting, Russian. Yes, I only know "spasiba" and "privet" <laughs> in yeah, Russian. Because in the old day in Vietnam, you know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of technical, uh, you know, uh, book, right, textbook mm-hmm. and everything, you know, they they they, uh, you know, they they publish it in in uh, in Russian. Mm-hmm. So I was at one of the technical school back in Vietnam at the time. So mm-hmm. you know, I have to learn uh, 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 Russian, but then I, I just learn for reading, you know, more for you know, for understand the text, uh, understanding the textbook instead of you know speaking. Mm-hmm. But then you know, after I I left Vietnam, I never touched that language again. Mm-hmm. Now I'm, um, I don't even you know remember just uh, the alphabet letter. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Interesting. I see. So uh, the Vietnamese, I, I gave it back to my teacher. Like they, they, I gave them all back. <laughs> Don't keep anything with me. Okay. And talk see. about um, profession. I working as an engineer in a uh, electronics store. Uh, I mean, electronics uh, company here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. So, which city do you live? I beg your pardon. Uh, which city do you live in? City? Is that your mm-hmm. question? Uh, yeah, I'm living in um, Northern California, in a city called San Jose. Have oh, you ever okay, heard about that? okay. Um, you I'm afraid not. So. Okay, so have you heard about mm, yeah. a a uh, area they call Silicon Valley? Oh yeah, of course. Silicon Valley is quite famous, of course. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. so uh, San Jose exactly. actually is one of the city in the Silicon Valley. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. right. I see. So, wow, it is quite famous. <laughs> well, so known. it's a all the high tech company, you know, uh, you know the headquarters mm, or see. a lot of. Uh, company that they start from here right you know so 
like mm-hmm. right now, you know, uh, uh, long ago, we have like the IBM, right? Uh, Hewlett Packard, HP, right? You know, mm-hmm. so those uh, mm-hmm. big companies, right? So nowadays, like uh, we still have Facebook, we have uh, Apple. Yes. Yeah. Then even Netflix, you know, it's in, in here in the wow. world. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. PayPal, you know, all the, you know, the, the latest and greatest or ugly ass company is in, mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. in uh, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley, yes. Wow. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, it, it is actually um, a lot of companies that are involved in it. So, wow. Awesome. So, yeah, it just happened to, you know, uh, to realize that, yeah, you, you currently live in uh, the United States. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, since my connection with... Um, broken a while ago so i was um cutting out that but uh yeah i just remember that you you actually uh in the united states now so um mm-hmm. if you don't mind um how long have you been uh there in the united states uh two-thirds of my life i spent here oh so it's oh. about what uh, <laughs> 40 years wow awesome awesome okay <laughs> 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 but the thing is, the, the funny thing is here, right? I live in in, uh, in the Silicon Valley, but the thing mm-hmm. is, I live in a uh, you know uh, the city, right? Uh, San Jose, the population in San Jose, right? It is about twelve percent is a Vietnamese. Oh, so really? the city is about uh, about a million, right? The population in the city is around a million people, but mm-hmm. then. Uh, the the only if you only count Vietnamese, it's already twelve percent. You haven't count, you know, like a um, uh, you know Southeast Asia, like a Vietnam, you know, Malaysia, Filipino, Japanese, you know, and mm-hmm, it's already mm-hmm. you know ten twelve percent, right, of the population is a uh, Vietnamese. Then if you count others, I think there's a lot more. Yeah. So now wow. I, I live in San Jose. You, you don't even have to speak, the, you know, English. And you still mm-hmm. be able to survive. <laughs> yeah, because okay. the huge community here, right? You can go to yeah, the market. Huge community, you to, exactly. Uh, you can go to uh supermarket, right? And and mm-hmm. using uh Vietnam. But that's why mm-hmm. I uh, I left uh, Vietnam for you know 40 years, but uh, I still be able to speak the uh, Vietnamese, Vietnamese, you know, with mm-hmm. no trouble. Wow. So um, well, at home, I don't use Vietnamese. Though. My wife uh, is uh, speak Chinese, so I don't okay. use uh, Vietnamese at home. Okay. <laughs> so I use Chinese at home. Yeah, at home I speak Chinese. Oh, okay. What about dialect. your children? Oh my! Do they speak my, uh, my Vietnamese kids? or Chinese? Mm-hmm. They speak Chinese. They speak Chinese. Oh, okay. Wow. So they can actually speak a lot of different languages at home. Chinese, Vietnamese, English. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. So I, I don't use Chinese at home. You know, even my uh, my children, I just told them that right? uh, I don't speak English. Okay. <laughs> so when they, they are young, they, they thought that I don't speak English at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I, I want see. them to, to give them like a, a opportunity to learn some Chinese. Yeah, that's why I, I I don't I try to you know like uh, limit English in my house, but then still mm-hmm. you know when they talk to each other, it's all English. Yeah, yeah. They talk to me, then they try. Mm-hmm. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah. Well, I think in if you live in an English speaking country, um, you don't really have to, you know, teach them English, for example, because they will naturally learn Chinese uh, English. Um, if they go somewhere, right? Especially yeah, they go to school. school, they will learn English, mm-hmm. right? But the thing they, they pop, they uh, both of my sons, they they mm-hmm. struggle a bit, you know, when they first, you know, uh, went to school. Mm-hmm. But you know, two three years later, they they at the same level with the, the native speaker. So exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. So yeah, but if you don't I, don't let them learn the the native tongue, you know the, the uh, like a Chinese Vietnamese mm-hmm. when they're young, then when they got older, they don't want to use that. They 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 lost the ability to learn when yeah. they grow up. Yeah, I do agree with that. Yes. So yeah, 
Um, I also think the same way, you know, uh, probably in the future, if I have a, a family uh, living abroad, I would exactly teach them my native language. And then the second one would be the language that, you know, that is spoken in the country where I live. So I think, yeah. yes, it is important to teach them the native language first. Uh, I mean, the native, the parents, and then the language that they, you know, that people speak in the, in the country. So, yeah, but, I think you're but one on the right track. very interesting, though. I have two sons, right? The older one, right, quite hard to, to use Chinese. The younger mm -hmm. one, seems like he doesn't, uh, didn't really care about uh, Chinese at all. Okay. <laughs> but one thing is very interesting happened to, to, to him. Is at one one time at one time, I I, I took them on a, a family vacation, right? So we went to mainland China. Okay, then um, you know at home my wife and I is uh, using the uh, one of the dialects in uh, Chinese is uh, Cantonese, right? So the yep. the dialect that from uh, <clears throat> the the province called Canton, right, in China. So mm -hmm. we we. Mm, we joined the tour in Canton for one week, right? After that, we went to Hong Kong and spent one more week in Hong Kong. And to my surprise, it's like my, my, my younger son, you know, turned on TV and watch TV in Cantonese. Wow. Kid, uh, Cantonese TV is available in, 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 in US also, but he never, you know, switched to that channel. But, mm. but back in Hong Kong, he, 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 he watched uh, you know, Chinese uh, programs. Mm -hmm. And then when he uh, you know, got home, then he started using it more and more, Chinese. So it I seemed see. to me like uh, when he went to a, a large area where people speak the dialect that he used, right? So probably at home, he feel like, uh, eh, 